Welcome to this week's edition of Growing at Ryman Gardens. I'm Aaron Style, the Education and Plant Collections Coordinator here at the Gardens. This week's episode, we're going to be talking about the BioWalk, a walking tour of biorenewable plants and sustainability in the garden. We'll also be talking about the cell phone tour that accompanies the BioWalk and how you can use it to get more information about biorenewable plants and sustainable garden design. When you visit the gardens to take the biowalk, you'll pick up a reusable map that shows a trail of all the different plants that are featured on the tour. Many of these plants are used to create biofuels. Some of them, like the giant miscanthus behind me, show great promise as a potential source of biomass, which can be used to create products like ethanol. Miscanthus isn't the only grass that's featured on the biowalk. Many other plants, such as this switchgrass, as well as corn, soybeans, and other crops being researched for biofuels are part of this educational walk. When you see one of these signs in the garden, all you have to do is call the number on the sign and follow the prompt instructions that you hear. You'll enter in an item number, in this case number 17, and listen to an audio recording that answers the question that's on the sign. Now you don't need a cell phone to take the BioWalk tour, but it does add quite a bit of information about the many issues that surround biofuels currently, such as what does it mean to be carbon neutral, or how do biofuels affect the economy, or food prices. All of these things are addressed on the BioWalk. In addition to biorenewable plants, the BioWalk also features the newly redesigned Jones Rose Garden. The Jones Rose Garden now incorporates sustainable practices into its design and maintenance. The garden now features many winter hardy and disease resistant shrub roses. These roses require less spraying and less care making them more sustainable. One week after this garden was planted the fungicide and pesticide use garden wide was cut in half because we were no longer spraying in this garden. Alongside the many roses in this garden, you will see many different perennials and annuals. These plants add year-round interest to the garden, as well as help reduce the insect and disease problems that are traditionally a problem in rose garden. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. If you would like more information about the BioWalk or the plants featured on the BioWalk tour, please visit our website at rymangardens.com. Thanks.